By all accounts, Florida ran one of the most successful elections in 2020, and now state lawmakers say they're moving ahead with changes to prevent future problems. As Mike Vazelinda tells us, every election supervisor opposes the changes, though. 1.5 million mail ballots were dropped off in person at drop boxes like these, but so-called reform legislation eliminates the boxes. Many of these boxes were actually in places that no one was providing security over them or observing what was going on there. But opponents say the result will be less people voting and that is unacceptable. Under the legislation, only a designated family member will be able to drop off a completed mail ballot here at a supervisor's office. The legislation would also require more than four million voters who have a pending ballot request to ask again. You get a total choice each year to pick how you want to vote this year. But supervisors, all 67 of them, are opposed to the $16 million change. Nothing in this bill is on our list of suggestions. They argue it will set the state back. All the requests on file right now are at the request of voters. The League of Women Voters told lawmakers, Taking away safe and secure drop boxes makes absolutely no sense unless you're looking for ways to suppress the vote. Afterwards, the sponsor pushed back on supervisors. Thank you for being willing to give us input. But we are the policymakers and they are the implementers. And lawmakers tell us this legislation is generating significant email from constituents. It has one more committee stop before a vote by the full Senate. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. Supervisors called the drop boxes the gold standard and told lawmakers they were all monitored.